Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. once wrote that this is where great teams go to die. Outson Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks, and it's one of the rowdiest settings in all of college football. Let's head down to the coin sauce now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oregon is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. From their own 29 yard line. Second down. And down he goes at the 38. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Brooks picks them up six yards with a catch. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. Three down. Motion, motion. And he hits him hard at the 37. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Harris, back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Ducks and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Oregon's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled. 
tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third and seven. about the 35. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. So we're looking at another third down here. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. Just about three yards there. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Oregon is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Tigers heated up, ranked 15th in the country, knowing there were teams behind them ready to apply the heat. There was never any room to breathe in this game. Memphis gets the win by four. The Scarlet Knights grab the win by eight. All right, thanks, Reese. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Oregon's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. The Golden Bears have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Play fake. Decides to slide. Barnes comes away with five yards on the scramble there. That brings him second and five. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. Slides down. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First and ten. Ball on the 47. And yeah, 
and they get nice yardage on that run. Bell picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. to throw outside good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play here's the eighth play of the series looks for his running back incomplete See if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kurt. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Three down, three down. Oregon is up by three. Kill, 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 kill. Right nine, nine. He carries the ball for a nice game. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 11-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. First down. He's into the open field. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for the five yards. That brings him second and five. throw this one's picked off and they make the stop at the 44 yard line he has to make better decisions than that he should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there from the 44 yard line first down Bring him down at the 33 yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. It's second and 11. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle around the 33-yard line. And he 
shoved out of bounds at the 33. That brings us fourth and 11. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. California is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We've been keeping an eye on Kent. The Bulldogs take it by three. Three-three game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle made at the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets out to about the 21. Daniels gains about a yard on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. and hit hard as he came down with it. That'll bring up fourth and one. Wayne is back to receive. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Second down and 11. Ball on the 32. Gets it out to the wide alley. He's got the first. And down he goes at the 46. First down. From their own 46 yard line. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. the sack I think the quarterback here even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read you know a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection that time he didn't do that Strike to his receiver, no good. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Return for a game of 10 yards. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's hit and taken down. Done. Gains about five yards on the play. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 35. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. And they push him out around the 41-yard line. much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line the option keeper gets him two maybe three yards third down now and they need to get it inside the 49 Steps up. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. There's a flag down, and this most likely is going to be on the defense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. The penalty digs him a big hole with third and long. Golden Bears taking their first time out of the half. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Smith is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Slides down to the ground. That brings them second and five. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He's on the run. It's a fumble. Looks like the offense has it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. California's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. He scrambles. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. He 
scrambling. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Makes the first down catch. And he's hit immediately. No, he dropped it. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. It's the ninth play of the drive. Under pressure. They bring him down. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down where they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second half offense. 6-3, Golden Bears. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. The Golden Bears continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. No game. That makes it second and ten. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Daniels gains about four yards on the play. Under heavy pressure. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. California is up a field goal. He laterals. Here's an opening. He's at midfield. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Bell on the run, and they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Third down 
now, and they need to get it down to the 34. to punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great two defense. Two and times. when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. On the ground with the tailback. Runs outside for a nice game. Second and five. Ball on their own 25. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. it to the 25-yard line. Wayne awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Ducks have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? California holds a field goal lead. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. First down. Around the 30-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. down and they need to get it down to the 20.
kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. Golden Bears were really excited when they got this guy. They expect him to be a future star, a top recruit, a great talent. And there's tackle number one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down at about the 35. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. situation. Ball on the 41. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. California with a six-point lead. off left and they've got him behind the line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Nice run and he's brought down. That'll bring up 36. to the tight end and he hits him hard at the 40 yard line that makes it first and 10 from their own 40 yard line first down he makes it to the 42 yard line that makes it second and eight the toss and hammer. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. He's under pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 9-3, Golden Bear. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. California is up by six. Yeah. 
And down he goes at the 35. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football. No doubt about it. The defense has been dominating on both sides of the ball. But one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left. But in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on their own 36. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. to buy some time and he's tackled at the 45. First and 10 ball on their own 45. Laterals back he makes his way to about the 42. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 38. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 20. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And that sets them up for the first and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. him hard at the three fires out to his receiver Reed picks up about five yards on that hookup we've got second and goal ball on the three dives for extra yardage that's a game of three on the play that makes it 30 goal this is the 12th play of this drive Pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. 
The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 65-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Smith looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Bears have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Off play action. Now he's on the move. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He scrambled. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Less than three minutes in the game. Tell you what, this is something Pollock would love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets out to around the 45. That's a deep California is going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Let's go! He's at the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 15-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. He's scrambling. Golden Bears using their third and final timeout. Gidry comes away with two yards on the scramble. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Second and eight. Ball on the 13. Up the middle for a nice game. Oregon up a point. Touchdown, Ducks!
Henley markers down. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. And he hits the PAT. A nice five-play, 54-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute left. And a quick throw. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Spikes the ball. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball in the 28. Just throws this one away. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. He lets it go. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. It's intercepted, and that should do it. You can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 44-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Take a knee here to kill the clock. Well, neither team could muster much of an offense today. It's final. 17-9, Oregon. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.